Hello YouTube, it's me here again. Today we have the Laser 200V. Time in setup and overview. Carburetor kit as well. Here are the Warper carburetors. And so I already did the timing setup on this engine already. I just want to do a really quick uh, run through of what I done because most engine timing it's it's the same. So I don't really want to go through a full one for this, but just a little show of what's going on. So this is the uh, sensor ring, dual sensor. Mm, that's your plug on it on the end. Dual sensor, and you have the magnet ring. Green is for salt. Red is for nut. So this engine is running on two magnet setup. One for each cylinder. The ignition does the rest. Um, I do have the RCXL V type ignition plus the CH ignition as well. Especially made for uneven fire engine, just as uh, the laser V's. And the Sato, some of the Sato engines like the uh, 100, 182 twin. Um, this is the original carburetor, and this is the modified carburetor. Wabro, go straight in, replace. So the carburetor kit will come with two carburetor to make it really uh, easy in setup. It uses the same um, linkage from the old glow carburetor to connect to your carb arms. Make up a linkage, easy and nice. I already tested this engine already. It runs perfectly with these carburetors. But I could sell you just the adapter by itself if you have a carburetor that way you want to use already. Um, you could see some dots on the engine heads. The green one is the number one cylinder and the red one is number two cylinder. So when you get your kit, the, the ring as well will get the red and green on it. Just like this, green and red. That indicate which magnet fire which cylinder, so you know exactly what's going on. So no mix up. Okay, let me just run through quickly about the timing on this engine. The only difference is to another timing setup like the uh, 160 twin or the Sato 150 single cylinder. The ignition will fire before the magnet pass the sensor. So that's the only difference is on the normal twin and single cylinder the ignition will fire after the magnet pass the sensor. But that's the only big difference. You have to make sure you know when you rotate the the um, magnet ring you rotate this way and as soon as your head started to beat there you know exactly that's where your spot need to be your timing needs to be set right there before the magnet passes the sensor if it passes the sensor that's the wrong way you need to do it the other way it's, it's before the sensor but it's no complication all you do you put your 
centre bracket on, get your top dead centre, put your magnet ring on, get your 28 or 30 degrees, whatever you want to use. At the moment I'm running um, 28 degrees, between 28 and 30, I can't really see any big difference between 28 and 30. That's what I'm running on this engine itself, 28 degrees. When the projector wheel reach on 28 degrees, there's a red light, sorry, there's a green light on this device supposed to come on to indicate that the ignition being fired. So that's what you want. You don't want it to go all the way around, then the light come on. You want it to come on as soon as it hit the sensor. So okay, enough of that. So yes, yeah, so this is a timing indicator or a RCXL timing device, little miniature stuff. It comes with the projector wheel as well. Really handy tool to get if you're doing stuff like this or checking out the timing on your engine if you think engine is not running properly. Really handy. There will be a link in description where you could find that on the projector wheel plus the conversion kit with the sensor ring and magnet ring with the ignition of your choice R6 L R C H ignition there will be a link there where you could find all that or if you just need the carburetor conversion kit as well there will be a link this car uh, this carburetor conversion kit um, will fit the 200, sorry, the 160, 200, and the 240. And the magnet ring you see here will fit the 160 and 200. Not the 240, but just do the first two. 160, 200, magnet ring. Okay, for this time you set up pretty much the same. All you need to do find up that center, get your piston stop, whatever you want to use to locate your piston when you get up top. Um, that's me there, tap that center, right in my zero. And what you need to do now is rotate to whatever degree you want to set your engine at. I'm setting mine at 28 degrees. In the camera, it looks like 30, but it's really off. Off a bit. So that's me there. And what you need to do now is plug your device into a battery of your choice with a server lead like that plugs in so when I plug it in it will go off because the magnet ring already set there's a green light supposed to come on when I plug this in there you go so that's indicate that the ignition will fire at 28 degrees before top left center so you know definitely your engine is timed there. All you need to do is just time number one cylinder. The number two cylinder already been um, evenly spaced on the magnet ring. So there's no need to time the two cylinders. The magnets are already fixed in place. For eight cylinders, so there's no need to do that. So just number one cylinder. Looking at the engine, the first cylinder is your number one cylinder. So no complication to that. Okay, so the engine being timed. Unplug that. It's a bit noisy, annoying. So I could remove the piston stop. Don't need that. This is just a really quick run through. Um, I don't really want to go to, into too much details because everyone knows how to screw uh, a couple of rings on. Just that you have to do. Like that. That's the rings there. 
So that's the number one cylinder. So we'll fire number one cylinder, which is green. That passes. Number two cylinder, which is red. So that's that's all it is really. And you can see how the uh, carburetor kit we install. It's extended about 20 millimeter more than the original carburetor. But I'll put it some standoff on that and you could really have no problem at all setting up this on your on your plane. I've run this engine before so I know it runs brilliantly, transitions really good on it, just like electric, yeah. Really good made engine lasers. So yeah. On this one I'm setting up a pump ball so I could get fuel into the carburetor easily, no hesitation. So I do have a wide air and a wide lead for this one is for the inlet. Take fuel from the tank into the carbs. So that's pretty much it for your laser timing demonstration setup. Really. It's a bit different than from the others. I don't want to go into too much detail because so much to talk about on that. Um a little sneak peep of the FS four hundred radio carburetor adapter was there close by just give you a little heads up was there and a lot of people been asking for 91 four stroke it's coming soon prototype did the rings already just the center bracket now to go a couple of days this one is a SC brand. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos to come. Some excited videos to come up in the next couple of days. Yeah. Okay then. I will see you again sometime. Cheers. Bye.